Over the past several months, pro-Palestinian protests erupted on college campuses and elsewhere across the country. And now there's some new information from intelligence officials saying Iran's government is exploiting those demonstrations as a way to undermine the American government, even allegedly paying some protesters, although it's unclear exactly how much influence Iran is actually having on the protests. Let's bring in News Nation's investigative correspondent, Rich McHugh, who is live with the very latest. And Rich, is the U.S. government confirming Iran has a financial role in these protests? Yes, 100 percent. That's the headline here that they just confirmed this yesterday in a press release. You know, this is something that we long suspected as we covered these protested protests that they were organized. We'd, we'd known that they were organized by outside interests, but now this is the first time that we're learning that they are, they've been funded by outside interests, in this case, Iran, to create chaos and ultimately undermine our democratic process. Uh, in a statement yesterday, Avril Haines, the director of uh, national intelligence, came forward and said that the Iranian government, uh, we have a quote, we have observed actors tied to Iran's government posing as activists online, seeking to encourage protests, even providing financial support to protesters. I spoke with Benham Ben Talablu. He's an expert on Iran, senior with the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. And I, I said, in terms of concern, on a scale of 1 to 10, where are we? He said, we're at an 11. Take a look. But we need to know now what was the financial touch point, what were the conduits, who were the people involved, who were the organizations. Uh, you don't want any kind of uh, lingering concerns here. Uh, and again, this is a big glaring light if the world's foremost state sponsor of terrorism can do this uh, and essentially get away with it. One may say that uh, it may not have been widespread across every single uh, pro-Gaza protest. We simply don't know. But the fact that this on-ramp existed and the fact that the evidence was robust enough for the intelligence community to come forward about it. All right. So, so Rich, why did U.S. intelligence come forward with this evidence now? It's unclear, Nicole. She did make a point to make to say in her press release that she's coming forward to, uh, to to inform the public about this because it's a democratic process and they're trying to undermine this. It's also why experts are saying that the Congress needs to get involved ASAP. Iranian officials routinely talk about uh, things from the George Floyd protest, the January 6th, to the botched U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan all in an attempt to sick the left on the right and the right on the left. And for well over a decade now, uh, entities like Facebook and Microsoft have been talking about this nefarious Iranian cyber role online. This is precisely why the U.S. Congress should be trying to get this issue into bright lights, trying to get uh, these questions answered about how the regime did it, who their touch points were in the United States. Now, the director of national intelligence said in that uh, press release, this will be the first of regular updates on these threats going forward. Nicole. All right. Rich McHugh reporting live for us. Thank you. Well,